dive into our bathroom study and all of those survey results and trends that have come from that. Um, on the right hand side of your screen, that is where you'll find the GoToWebinar control panel. So if at any point during this session, you need to ask a question to me or to the whole forum, please feel free to pop a question in either the questions section or there's also a chat section if you wanted to go in either one of those. This session is also recorded, so if you do miss anything, of course, you can ask me a question, but I will send you a recording of this uh, just later today, so you'll always be able to kind of catch up on anything that you missed there. You also have my details, so if you had any questions kind of next week after you had a second listen or so, uh, feel free to always get in touch as well. So to get started, we know that House is the world's largest community for home design and renovation. A lot of people ask us where we started. Uh, we did start in the States in 2009, so it's been around a while now. Um, House Australia was localized and launched about three years ago now as well. But where we started was just a husband and wife. So a D and a Lon, you see on the screen here. Basically, they went through a terrible renovation after they bought their first home. They decided to do this complete overhaul of the house that they bought, and it was just a really rough process. They really, really struggled to find the right professionals, the right designers, the right products, and just really struggled to articulate what it is they wanted, who they wanted, and what style was actually theirs. So they noticed that, hey, this is actually a huge gap in the market, something we can definitely tap into. And from that, House was born. And it's grown to be what it is today. It has really, really evolved to have these five key layers of House, which just provides such an end-to-end -end solution for any user, consumer, professional that lands on House. So, those five layers, which I'm sure you have touched on uh, during your kind of exploration of house um, overall, those five layers are photos, the professional directory, our editorial section, products, and the discussion forums. And it really is this end-to-end -end solution because each of those five layers is really apparent on every single photo that we have on the site. So you obviously see a photo, get inspired, but from that photo, I can see on that right-hand side who designed this and who uploaded it, details about this project, so where it is, the style, the category it's in. I could check out this professional's house profile and their website straight from this photo, get in contact with them. If this photo was featured in the editorial, I could read that article straight from the photo. I could ask a question directly to that professional just down below. And I can also discover any products that are tagged or featured in this photo as well. So it's really integrated and that's why people do love us and that's why you end up spending so much time on the platform. Each of these layers as well is really connected to decision making. So our users are making really kind of qualified decisions all throughout their journey throughout house. And each of these layers that I've just kind of mentioned are really an opportunity for you as designers or home design professionals. It's really an opportunity for you to just get more and more exposure. So obviously, as a professional on house, you can have a profile, upload photos, but you can also get more connected to our editorial section by getting in touch with our editor. You can actually write for house, contribute for house. Your projects can be featured in editorial. People can discover you via our articles. You can get in contact with the community via the discussion section. So that sits under advice. Your profile is obviously listed in our fine pros directory and through other marketing solutions like Pro Plus, which I'll mention a bit later, you can get really targeted and really enhanced placement within that directory. And there's also our product section, so you can tag your own products in your photos, people can discover products and you through each photo you upload as well. So each of those layers has led to us really exploding globally, <laughs> so we can really touch on um, a lot of people's uh, 
kind of decision making process and that leads people to spending a lot of time on our app and a lot of time on our website. Um, on the screen now I'm just showing that we actually won the uh, Google Award for the best app in the world, which is very, very exciting at the Google Play Awards. And also just to show a couple of other stats about how we have grown, not only is our app now the best in the world, which is very exciting, but our site itself has 40 million unique users coming on the site every single month. There's 1.5 million unique users in Australia alone. Our photos have now ticked over to 15 million, which is huge. And the really exciting thing about those photos is that they are uploaded by professionals like you. So people are coming back, uploading their most recent work, um, their freshest, their best work to really just put their projects and their name out there in front of our community. From all of this data and just how much we have grown, we can really understand our users and understand what they're doing in their homes, what they want to do in their homes, and um, how they're making that basically become a reality. So we do have these surveys and studies that we put out every single year. So a great example is the bathroom study that I'm about to go into. But also we can really pull a lot of data and insights just from what people are doing on the site itself. So we know, for instance, how people spend time on the site. And this can really influence how you as a professional put yourself forward on the platform. So you can see on the screen now the homeowner timeline of basically how a regular, regular user will land on house and how they will use it. So basically, <clears throat> they land on house looking for ideas and inspiration. So they start off with that photo section. They then ask professionals like you for advice on their upcoming projects, what they should do, how they should do it. Homeowners can then hire professionals that they find straight from house, from our professional directory. And then they can finalize the finishing touches to their homes by looking at the home products that are found in the product uh, area of the site. So that is typically how someone travels throughout the site and how they really do touch on each of those five layers uh, during that whole process. We also know some major trends. So major trends on house are people are always looking for really practical solutions. So I know on the site there's some amazing, amazing homes with incredible views, incredible landscapes, um, really multi-million dollar amazing homes. But this photo you see on the screen is our all-time most popular photo. <laughs> so really uh, cleverly designed and very well organized cutlery drawer. This has been saved so many thousands of times to people's idea books. And it really just shows that people are looking for very practical, functional solutions. Another major trend is Still just storage is everything and we find that in the bathroom trends that I will go into next but storage is everything it's all about carving out just some more space to store your stuff basically and just functional and practical so even though like I said there's these multi-million dollar homes these amazing amazing projects Really, if you are just working with functional and practical design solutions for your clients, that's going to get noticed on house and people will be really, really interested in seeing how you go about that and how you can really kind of make all these functional and really practical solutions to their home as well. We know that people want something that is tailored to their life. So this goes back to what's functional, what's practical, what really works for you. Like this amazing example of this hidden barbecue and outdoor area here. Again, this is one of the most popular photos and really popular trends that we see in the Australian community. We also know uh, what they're looking for in a pro and really what makes them stay on your profile. So you all have a profile on house. It may look uh, more or less like this great example of Dan's Kitchens Australia. And this is a fantastic profile and something that is a really nice example to look at um, if you are kind of struggling with what it is you should do next on your own profile. So about 25 projects, they've won some house awards, 
Ernst from Howe's Badges, 74 reviews, which is a crazy number. It's a really high, really fantastic. They also have really fantastic uh, business description, very clear contact details. You really get a sense of Dan's Kitchens as a business straight from this profile. And if I am a potential client, I know so much about Dan's Kitchens just from looking at this profile before I pick up the phone and call them. So I am a really qualified lead from just looking at your profile right here. So it's unsurprising to hear that bathrooms and kitchen professionals are some of the most popular professionals on house. Those two rooms are some of the most popular interior rooms to uh, renovate in Australia. And we really do see that year on year that kitchens and bathrooms are within the top three rooms for most popular. So that category is a really competitive category, that kitchen designer or bathroom designer and renovator, those are really competitive. And it's because we have so much great content and so many fantastic professionals in those areas. So if you really want to make sure that you are seen above the crowd and make sure that you really are being seen by the right people in your area that are looking for professionals like you or projects like what you do, we do have fantastic solutions for that. So if you are interested in kind of learning more about those solutions and how we can really boost you up, uh, we do have Pro Plus, which is in our our exclusive marketing program, uh, which is custom built completely for you that will really enhance your directory listing, your photos, give you access to analytics, uh, really specific detailed ads in our mobile and in our newsletter. There's a lot of different features that can really make you stand out on house in front of this really engaged community. And you also get a discount on this because you have joined a webinar. So I'll talk about this a little bit more at the end of the session here. But just so you know, so it's in the back of your mind, you do get a discount on this if you are thinking, hey, I've been on house for a while and I really do need to um, boost up my presence a little bit. <laughs> but for now, let's dive straight in to our bathroom study. So we put out these huge studies and surveys throughout the year, like I mentioned before, to really just see what our community is doing. So of course we can collect a lot of data and trends just from our huge community and what people are searching within the site, but we want to go a little bit deeper than that and really get to know our community and really get to know these different categories. So bathroom has been our last study and the results for this only came out just last month. So it's very fresh data. <laughs> and this is all focused on bathroom renovations. So mostly homeowners and how they renovated their bathrooms um, this year and how they plan to renovate their bathrooms in the next 12 months. So what we do in our bathrooms. So basically, no matter the size of our budget, all we want is an easy to clean yet beautiful bathroom. So plenty of natural light, ample storage space to stash our stuff, like I mentioned before. And renovating the bathroom is always, almost, always, sorry, going to result in a change of style. So no matter what our age or our living situation, most people are really changing up their style in any kind of bathroom renovations. So the style we choose, however, often varies between if we're a baby boomer, millennial, or somewhere in between. So in talking through all of these results of our study, I'm really just going to let you discover which features are at the top of the homeowner's list when planning a bathroom renovation, I'll talk about how much we spend and whether our home's resale value is really still a, a very influential factor. So some of these answers really might surprise you here. <laughs> so when we are updating our bathrooms, it should come as no shock that the top reason we renovate our bathrooms is that we can no longer stand the old one. So coming in a close second in why we update our bathrooms is that we 
no longer can function in this bathroom. So things are not functional. It's not a practical solution. So it really does trigger a renovation. And third, we finally have the means, so the money to do a renovation. So we want to make sure we're doing it right. What's on the screen now is really kind of interesting stats. I hope you've had a little bit of a chance to read this just while I've been talking. So it's quite interesting that our weekly use of mobile devices in the home has really increased um, after a bathroom renovation. So people are using their phones, mostly on social media, a lot, lot more in the bathroom after a renovation. So the top activities that people do on a mobile device is use social media. So people spending a lot of time in the bathroom, over 30 minutes actually in the bathroom after this renovation, and they're just sitting there on their phone <laughs> or standing there on their phone. You also see that after a renovation, people are spending more time in the bath. So actually 26% of people are spending more time in the bath after a renovation as well. When it looks to who we are as renovators, so the people that are renovating their homes most in Australia, uh, particularly the bathroom, are people that purchased a home within the past 10 years. So 64% of those people are renovating their bathrooms uh, this year or plan to in the next 12 months. And why we're we updating our bathrooms, and I did just touch on this just before, it is because we can no longer stand the old bathroom. So people can no longer stand that bathroom, so they're really wanting to switch it up, <laughs> really update that bathroom to make sure that it is functional, to make sure that it fits in with our life, and to make sure that you're really comfortable in there when you're spending so much time on your phone. And all of these renovations are really leading to a style overhaul. We see a beautiful example of um, a really lovely and really new bathroom on the screen here. 92% um, of people that we surveyed, they completely changed the style of their bathroom during a renovation or they plan to. The surveyed houses were all either in the middle of or were planning um, a bathroom project. So they are quite active renovators in this space. And while you can see on the left-hand chart there that contemporary and modern styles trumped any other, style preferences also came down to which generation a homeowner belonged to. So baby boomers, for example, leaned slightly more towards traditional style bathrooms while millennials favoured Scandi style more than older to, uh, older generations, excuse me. And then we see that 8% of millennial respondents also factored romance into their renovation, which is quite nice. So that's actually three times the number of um, over 54s who felt the same. So for the over 54s, romance wasn't so much a feature in the bathroom uh, renovation or in the style choice that they chose. And our Australian editor also just commented on this, saying that most millennials, so those under 35s, tackle bathroom renovations shortly after buying a home, and they really just want to personalise and romanticise the space. Homeowners older than 54 were mo motivated by lifestyle triggers such as family changes or physical triggers um, so, and also things like just other um, bathroom features breaking down or wearing out. That was the most likely um, trigger that led them to renovate the bathroom. So moving on to our top bathroom priorities. So beautiful bathroom example right here. And almost 80% of renovators prioritized a stylish and beautiful bathroom over anything else, which is quite interesting. But a bathroom that added to their home's resale value was also highly important to 54% of respondents. So other priorities in your bathroom reno included an abundance of natural light, which is always important. So 39% of people 
factored a natural light into their renovation. A bathroom that's also really easy to clean and disinfect was up there, and one with plenty of storage that makes things easy to find. So those were all those top priorities when Aussies were looking to renovate their bathrooms. And then looking at what major changes we make to our bathrooms. So major upgrades renovators looked at were increasing the room size and also increasing the shower size. So the top feature upgrades were taps, plumbing features, cabinets, walls, flooring and showers. So basically an overhaul of everything. Um, people tend to do a complete overhaul of most things. You can see that those top five upgrades are all over 80% of respondents. And then of those who upgraded their bathroom basins and vanities, you can see on the right hand side that almost one third opted for a double sink which is quite a significant number. So that's really seen as a, a really rising trend for Aussie renovators. So now looking at bathtubs, so just a bit of a focus on the tub. So among those upgrading their bathtubs, the leading bathtub feature across all generations is one that has room for two, which is quite nice. <laughs> so that's 22% of respondents. Many more millennials, so that's 26% than baby boomers at 19%, listed a tub for two as a top priority. And then freestanding tubs beat built-in bathtubs as that kind of top design choice, but only fractionally by 6%. These are two really nice examples here um, on the left and the right. Very white, quite simple, contemporary style, but those kind of really huge tubs where it can definitely fit to, um, this is the real trend that we are seeing on the site as well. Moving on to showers and really supersized showers, I should say. So among those upgrading their shower in Australia, over two thirds uh, of renovating homeowners increased the size of their shower um, and that was 68% of respondents. The top shower feature upgrades include rainfall shower heads. So that's been a huge trend. You can see 64% uh, of people opted for the rain or the waterfall shower head choice. Showers designed to accommodate two people, again, were very popular, particularly, again, up by the millennials. And overall, 12% of homeowners uh, chose that option. So 12% did choose something that really does fit two people in there. <laughs> and not only are showers being really supersized, a third of homeowners increased the size of their bathroom as a whole during the renovation as well. So not just the shower, but the room overall is really being um, stretched to its absolute limit. <laughs> Uh, moving on to which high-tech features that we choose in our bathrooms. So technology is really finding its way in just about every uh, area of our lives and the bathroom is no exception. So as well as just bringing your mobile in there uh, way more than normal, um, these high-tech features are also being installed in the bathroom. So high-tech toilets, for example, are really on the rise. These toilets can be self-cleaning, have overflow and anti-clogging protection, as well as motion-activated lids and even heated seats as well. They can also feature a built-in nightlight and are often self-deodorizing as well. Um, so, so far, only 12% of these kind of toilets are being installed in bathrooms. So only 12% isn't too many, but that is really a huge increase uh, year on year in Australia for bathroom renovators. <clears throat> Other high tech features finding their way into bathrooms included uh, shower heads with LED lighting and built in speakers, built in bathtubs, sounds and vibrations, and built in scented mist dispenser in the bath as well. So 
really cool features that right now are only kind of scratching the surface for bathroom renovators in Australia, but we can really see that these will become major trends just year on year. When we look to something less high tech, but equally important, uh, how we add color into our bathrooms. So white has long been the top color of choice for bathrooms and it remains the preferred color for walls, vanities and bench tops. Almost half of predominantly white bathrooms have a gray floor and they're tiled with porcelain or ceramic tiles 74% of the time. So you can see here the breakdown of the walls, cabinets, bench tops and floors in terms of the most popular color choices. And you can see people tend to always go for a bit of neutral coloring. The bathroom tends to be a place where you only renovate maybe once in your life or a few times if that. So people often will opt for just a neutral kind of color palette so they're able to then mix it up with a different kind of bathroom accessories uh, to add other kind of on-trend pops of color. Two beautiful examples here. So yes, it's neutral, a lot of gray, a lot of white, some black, some soft woods, but still really, really beautiful and very much on trend. And then looking at the finishes. So despite the rise in popularity of black, bronze, brass and colored taps, the top three tap finishes are shiny chrome. So at 54%. Matte chrome at 14% and stainless steel at 13 You can see those figures just down the uh, bottom left there. And how much we spend on our bathrooms. So small bathrooms, so that's less than five square meters in size, they are costing an average of 9,700 to renovate. Bathrooms larger than this cost renovators an average of 13,200. Bathroom renovation spend varied somewhat by age in our survey, with homeowners over 54 spending around 11,900. 35 to 54 year olds spent a little bit more at 12,700. And then the under 35s uh, were a lot lower, spending in about 9K on a bathroom renovation. And it is quite no noteworthy that the majority of Aussie homeowners in any generational group plan to stay in their home for at least 10 years, partly explaining the large scope and investment in bathroom renovations today. So like I mentioned before, people do tend to only renovate a bathroom once in their life, maybe twice, particularly if they're staying in that same home. So they do want to invest quite a lot of money into this space because they have to live with it for a while and they may not get around to renovating it again. These are some examples of those high-tech features that I mentioned earlier as well. Um, I just thought I'd end on some of these fantastic ones that we can see on the left and the right here. <laughs> And then just finally, what we wish we installed in our bathrooms. So it doesn't hurt to be quite aspirational. So overall, people are really envisioning and wishing that they could install underfloor heating. So that's 24% of respondents really wanted that underfloor heating. 19% wish to um, install towel warmers and 10% wish to install a lighted vanity mirror. So those were those overall trends. You can also see it broken down by age group on the screen. And they're really those top three features that homeowners regret not installing. So these may be some fantastic points to mention to any client of yours when you're renovating a bathroom right now, just to kind of push of, hey, you may regret this if we don't kind of invest in any of these features right now. <laughs> Lastly, who we turn to for help during a bathroom renovation. It's really cool to see that it's always close to 90% of renovators hire a bathroom professional during this renovation. 
So people are always under the impression that people want to do a DIY job and that that is a big trend, but really it's not in Australia. Aussie renovators will always turn to professional help for their renovations, more so than they would ever do it on their own. So in the last 12 months, 89% of renovators hired a bathroom professional for their renovation. The top hired professionals were actually architects for the bathroom, uh, bathroom designers, and interior designers and decorators. The top hired uh, kind of builders as well were building specialists, cabinet makers, and bathroom renovators. So you can see all the stats on the screen here, but it is really cool to see that people are hiring very specialized professionals for each of these uh, projects and jobs. So those are the big ideas. <laughs> uh, like I mentioned, this has come from a survey that we only uh, got back last month. And all of these stats, all of these data, these graphs are all actually available on House to download as a PDF as well. So I did record this session and I can send that to you if you would like to listen back and look at those photos again, look at the slides again. But you can also always download that PDF. Um, to just have a closer look at all of the stats, the data, etc. And you'll find that on the about page of house.com.au. And I mentioned earlier about ProPlus and the discount that you have now tapped into because you have kindly joined me for this webinar session this morning. And basically, ProPlus is an exclusive paid version of your existing house profile. So this premium profile provides local branding and the way it works, I will just explain quite quickly, is that you buy areas of Australia um, which are split up and we make sure that your photos and your profile are shown in the areas that you want and that you choose thousands of times each month. So if you live in Melbourne per se and you want to attract clients in specific areas of Melbourne, then you can do this by buying that area in Australia and we will guarantee that local exposure for you. So this is quite important. Just I know it's the end of the year, but we see in Australia on house, January is our highest traffic month and it's a very aspirational time for renovators um, and just general users of our site. So we really see, <clears throat> excuse me, the traffic go up hugely in the start of January, which makes sense. People are at home, they're looking at inspirations for their house. Like I said, very aspirational time. So it really is a very smart idea to enhance your profile and get in front of those users during that time. So we know that your free profile is shown across the globe on a daily basis. People from all around the world can see your profile via house, but it isn't guaranteed to be seen in the areas that you want clients. So we often get people saying like, yeah, I like house, but I'm getting saved by people in Fiji or people in the UK, which doesn't really help me and my business. So with ProPlus, you can target the areas you want to target, target the users you want to target, and your sponsored photos will appear in front of those people. So your photos will appear more, therefore it'll increase the number of saves to idea books as well. Um, and you can create custom headlines, banners, all of these that are only available with a premium ProPlus profile. The analytics that you receive as part of ProPlus are amazing. So really detailed analytics about all of your photos that have been uploaded, your profile itself, the impressions, the clicks as well. You also get an account manager that is with you for the whole journey on, of you on ProPlus. They will give you a call every month to go over your profile and really just show you what it is you can do to really increase the exposure of that profile. So I'm going to just finish this session by launching a poll. And this poll will just basically, you should see it on the screen here. And it just says, are you interested in learning more about ProPlus? So if you did want 
any more information about this, or maybe you're already on it, <laughs> which I'm sure a lot of you are, um, please just let me know via this poll and I can get you in touch with the best people for that. Um, please let me know if I can answer any more questions in that uh, chat section or in the questions section. You all have my details. I'm sure I've sent you a lot of emails reminding you about this webinar or about other events as well. So if I can be as assistance to anything, not just on Pro Plus, but on the survey, the trends we went over, your profile itself, please do get in touch and I will send you the recording of this webinar very shortly. Do have a very Merry Christmas as well and I hope that I will see you guys more in more events next year with Hal. So thank you.